Good morning, folks. Hey, what color shirt is this? That's right, it's a red shirt. Why is it red? Because what day is tomorrow? Pentecost, yes. One of the five great festivals of the church year. Tomorrow, Pentecost, uh, May 23rd. We've got room for you. We'd love to have uh, a full house at both services early at 8.30 and later at 10.30. So if you haven't signed up, it's not too late. We'd love to see you at either service. Uh, please come prepared to wear a mask during the service, but enjoy singing through your mask. Uh, the preacher will be preaching unmasked. The readers will be reading unmasked, and uh, we'll make incremental progress forward as a return to our old ways of doing things just as soon as we can as it is safe for all to do so. Um, Pentecost, as my uh, friend once said, uh, we say it's the birth of the church, Pentecost, but maybe uh, the birth of the church is Jesus calling together his uh, band of faithful followers, the 12, or the sending out of the 70 to announce the coming of the kingdom come near to you. Uh, but in any case, it's certainly the baptism of the church, baptized with fire and with the Holy Spirit and the fear that had limited them, that imprisoned them, that had kept them from sharing the good news of God in Christ. That fear was removed and they were liberated to go forth and deliver that news uh, to the whole world such as it ever has been since. The church's work of reconciliation in a broken and hurting world. Hey, so uh, tomorrow's also the first day of in-person voting. There'll be uh, voting cards available to all of who attend in person. I wanna thank Shara Parton, Paula Boyd, and Linda Buff for standing uh, for election to this critical, vital ministry of the church. Uh, my thanks to them, and my thanks to you who will uh, prayerfully vote for the candidates to two vacancies, vote for two people, candidates of your choice. Two vacancies, two votes. Thank you. So uh, in addition, next Sunday, the 30th of May, in addition to being Memorial Day weekend, when we will honor those who have died in military service to our country, uh, remembering those that are in service live at Veterans Day in November. It's going to be the preaching and celebrant Jan Fuller. The Reverend Dr. Jan Fuller will grace us with her presence next Sunday, May 30th, as she and Jan Therian, our parish chaplain, retire to Roanoke, Virginia. We wish them Godspeed and every joy in their retirement. So come on out and celebrate their vital and critical ministries uh, amongst us. And hey, in the very near future, look for uh, mailings and announcements from Jody Belcher for dates of live listening sessions and surveys for feedback and ideas for future programming, uh, future studies and conversations. And I wanna thank those that have uh, already taken the initiative to speak with me or Jody directly in person about their hopes and dreams and suggestions for upcoming uh, programs, proposals, and uh, processes. It means the world that uh, those that have uh, uh, those ideas and those concerns uh, come to speak with me so that we can uh, take what action in due season as we are able uh, for the good of the parish. So I won't hold you up anymore. Uh, again, look for those listening, uh, live listening sessions and uh, surveys for suggestions uh, for future programming. Do come. Do celebrate uh, the good God we serve. Enjoy your Pentecost and uh, vote for a vestry persons of your choice. All right, until I see you tomorrow, be well, 
Be strong. Stay safe. God bless.